If you're in the market for a Wi-Fi 7 router, then you've come to the right video. These are our top five Wi-Fi 7 routers in 2024 and going in to 2025. And to be clear, we are not sponsored by any of these router companies. We chose all five routers according to features, specifications, performance, size, style, and of course, price. And guys and gals, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys and gals, Wi-Fi 7 router number one is the ASUS RT-BE96U. And this is our top pick for best overall Wi-Fi 7 router. And of all five routers on this list, this is one of my favorites. The RT-BE96U is ASUS's first Wi-Fi 7 router. And to be honest, this router has everything you want or need. And this router has been available since August 2023. The RT-BE96U is a tri-band BE19000 which means combining the 2.4, the 5, and the 6 gigahertz band, which gives you a total of a whopping 19,000 megabits per second. And typical of all ASUS routers, it's AI mesh ready. So adding a second router is super easy. This router features a quad core 2.6 gigahertz CPU and includes two gigs of DDR4 RAM. So basically this router is a small computer. This router contains two 10 gig ports and four one gig ports. So this router has plenty of ports. And this router also has plenty of USB ports. You get one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0. And there are hardware buttons as well. You get a power switch, a reset button, a WPS button, and the all important LED control. One of the few downsides to this router is that it has a large footprint, especially with those eight antennas. And the router is a bit heavy at four pounds. And one thing to note about setting up the ASUS router you want to avoid using the mobile app for the setup process. And I recommend using the web interface. And matter of fact, I like using the web interface for all brand routers that allow it because the web interface is much easier to use. And let's go back to the network ports. By going into the ASUS settings, you can turn a gigabit port into the primary WAN port, and then you can use the 10 gig ports as LANs. And you can also combine the default WAN port with the fourth LAN port to form a WAN link aggregation. You could also combine the first and second LAN ports into a LAN link aggregation. And lastly, you could set this up in dual WAN. You can use any two network ports to host two separate broadband connections or use a USB port to host a cellular as the backup. Overall, this ASUS router has very flexible port management. However, it would have been nice to have 2.5 gig ports instead of one gig ports. And during the testing of the router, it stayed cool and silent. As far as our speed test goes, taking a look at the six gigahertz band, we saw speeds at 2,167 megabits per second. And at 40 feet with clear line of sight to the router, we got 2,006 megabits per second. Pretty impressive. As far as the five and the 2.4 gigahertz bands, they were superb. As far as the Wi-Fi coverage area goes, this can be a bit tricky to calculate. However, it's safe to say, the RT-BE96U can cover up to 2,500 square feet, but make sure you place the router in the middle of the home. This gives you the best chance to cover all the areas. As far as wired performance goes, over the 10 gig connection, we saw 6,181 megabits per second. And this was using CAT6A. With CAT5E, we saw 895 megabits per second. As far as NAS performance, we got 212 megabits per second over a one gig connection. So guys and gals, if you want a Wi-Fi 7 router with lots of port options, including 10 gig and link aggregation, and you want a router with lots of free networking features and settings like VPN, AI protection, parental control, bandwidth monitoring, and port forwarding, then the ASUS RT-BE96U is the router for you. The ASUS RT-BE96U is priced at $629.99. And of course, we'll have the link listed in the description below. Okay, Wi-Fi 7 router number two. The TP-Link Archer BE800 is our top pick for the best Wi-Fi 7 router on a budget. And currently this router is priced at $599. And for this price, you get a lot of bang for your bucks. The Archer BE800 is a tri-band BE19000, which has 12 streams at 19 gigabits per second. And this router includes two 10 gig ports. One of the ports is a WAN LAN port, and the other port is SFP plus fiber with an RJ45 Ethernet combo WAN LAN port. Also included are four 2.5 gig LAN ports at five gigabits per second aggregation speed. Also included is one USB 3.0 port 
And this router also includes a unique LED screen that provides the weather, time, or emojis. Over 3,000 customizable graphics. Pretty cool. This router also includes eight high-performance antennas. And this router also has easy mesh, so adding another router to the mix should be easy. You can also add a VPN to this router, and you can set up a private IoT network. And unlike some routers on this list, the BE800 is not really a gaming router. However, with the speeds of this router, your online gaming should have no latency or lag. As far as the speed tests go, the BE800 performed very well. With testing of the 6 gigahertz band, at 10 feet, we achieved 1,658 megabits per second, and at 40 feet, we achieved 1,369 megabits per second. With the 5 gigahertz band, we achieved 1,603 megabits per second, and at 40 feet, we achieved 1,377 megabits per second. In the 2.4 gigahertz band, at 10 feet, we achieved 177 megabits per second. And at 40 feet, we achieved 160 megabits per second. And as far as the Wi-Fi coverage area goes, it was excellent. This router should handle around 3,000 square feet. But once again, make sure the router is placed in the middle of the home. As far as the wired performance goes, using the 10 gig port, we saw 6,238 megabits per second. In this test, we used CAT6A. Using CAT5E, we saw around 890 megabits per second. So guys and gals, if you're on a budget, but you want a Wi-Fi 7 router, then the TP-Link Archer BE800 is the router for you. It is by far the best price router on this list. The TP-Link Archer BE800 will be listed below. All right guys, Wi-Fi 7 router number three. The Netgear Nighthawk RS700S is our top pick for the best Wi-Fi 7 router for long range, which means it can cover up to 3,500 square feet. The RS700S is one of Netgear's most powerful routers. And like the two previous routers on this list, you'll have speeds up to 19 gigabits per second for real-time gaming. And we're talking 4K and 8K streaming. The RS700S has a unique tower design. This router includes one 10 gig WAM port, which is fantastic for fiber internet speeds. It also includes four one gig LAN ports, and this router includes an all new antenna design, which provides enhanced Wi-Fi performance and coverage. And this router is fantastic for UHD video conferencing, which should be smooth and uninterrupted. And this Wi-Fi 7 router is designed for gaming, which means ultra low latency. And as far as the Wi-Fi coverage goes, this router will cover 3,500 square feet. And in terms of coverage area, that's the best router on this list. Like the two previous Wi-Fi 7 routers before, this is a tri-band Wi-Fi router. And as far as the speed tests go, they were off the charts. When we tested the 6 gigahertz band, we got 2,752 megabits per second. And this was at 10 feet. At 40 feet, we achieved 2,370 megabits per second. On the 5 gigahertz band, at 10 feet, we saw 1,639 megabits per second. And at 40 feet, we saw 1,639 megabits per second. And on the 2.4 gigahertz band at 10 feet, we saw 226 megabits per second. And then at 40 feet, we saw 121 megabits per second. As far as the wired performance goes, we saw speeds of 6,125 megabits per second. Once again, over CAT6A cables. So guys and gals, if you want a top tier Wi-Fi 7 router that has a massive Wi-Fi coverage area and has a unique design, then the Netgear Nighthawk RS700S is the best choice. And this router is currently priced at $699. And of course, the product link will be in the description below. Okay, guys and gals, Wi-Fi 7 router number four. The TP-Link Archer GE800 is our best Wi-Fi 7 router for gaming and fastest speeds. And it's definitely the coolest looking router on the list. As far as routers go, this is quite possibly the most impressive router in the TP-Link family. And if you love Star Wars, you'll love this router because this router has two wings on the sides and each wing has dynamic RGB lighting, all of which can be programmed. And like the three previous routers on this list, this is a tri-band BE19000. And this router includes a ton of game-enhancing features. And these features include accelerate game applications with QoS, accelerate game devices with gaming port, game servers acceleration by WT Fast GPN, accelerate mobile games, game detector, real-time game stats like network traffic, network ping, game radar, and one-click game acceleration button. Also includes 
and a dedicated gaming band. As far as wired ports go, this router includes two 10 gig multi ports, and one is an SFP plus combo, and four 2.5 gig LAN ports. And like most Wi Fi 7 routers, this router includes a quad core CPU. When it came to testing the Wi Fi performance on this router, our speed tests were over 2.5 gig connection, and we saw speeds at nearly 2.5 gig on the 6 gigahertz band with Wi Fi 7 clients at around 10 feet. And the upload speeds were around 2000 megabits per second. As far as the 5 gigahertz band, our download speeds were 1400 megabits per second at 10 feet, and our upload speeds was almost 1900 megabits per second. And once again, we're using Wi Fi 7 clients at 10 feet. And at 40 feet, the 6 gigahertz band saw 500 megabits per second download and 334 megabits per second upload. But the really cool thing about this router is the game stats. They are very detailed. And if you're a hardcore gamer or Twitch streamer, this is by far the best Wi-Fi 7 gaming router on the market. And it's not even close. The only downside to this router is that you have to pay a monthly subscription fee for the advanced parental control features. But other than that, this router is fantastic. So guys and gals, if you're a hardcore gamer or streamer or both, then the TP-Link Archer GE800 is the obvious choice. And as far as pricing goes for this router, it's pretty expensive. And we'll have the price on the screen. And if you're a hardcore gamer or streamer, then you can't put a price on speed. This router is designed for now and well into the future. And we're talking many years from now. And the TP-Link Archer GE800 product link will be listed below. And saving the best for last, Wi-Fi 7 router number five. The Eero Max 7 is our best Wi-Fi 7 router for multi-gig mesh. The Eero Max 7 nodes are not as low profile as the previous Eero products. And actually, they're quite a bit bigger than the Eero 6 Plus and all previous Eero products. And the Eero Max 7 comes in three different versions. You have the one node, the two node, and the three node offerings. The one node system, which is basically just a router, covers 2,500 square feet. The Eero Max 2P system, which is a router and a mesh node, will cover 5,000 square feet. And the three node system, which is a router and two additional nodes, will cover 7,500 square feet. During our testing, the Eero Max 7 was very fast and achieved solid results on our throughput performance tests. The router's node score of 2,149 megabits per second at close proximity was faster than the TP-Link Deco BE85. At 30 feet, the Max 7 achieved a score of 770 megabits per second. As far as the wireless range goes, our test showed it covered a very wide area, which covered around 2,200 square feet. It wasn't 2,500 square feet, but it was close. The Eero Max 7 has four multi-gig ports, two 2.5 gig ports, and two 10 gig ports. A true multi-gig wired mesh system. One of the downsides to this router is that there's no USB port. But as far as all the upsides go, the Eero Max 7 is an incredible multi-gig mesh system. The Eero Max 7 is pricey, but for these speeds and the coverage area, it holds up to most Wi-Fi 7 routers. The Eero Max 7 product link will be in the description below. And guys and gals, if you're in the market for a mesh Wi-Fi system, then click this video right here. Or if you're in the market for a high-speed gaming router, then click the video right here. And with that, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.